When it comes to design, you've got to remember there really are no rules. It's just all about showcasing your personal style. I'm Amanda Forrest and I've teamed up with interior finishings company Matree to take you on a design journey. We will provide you with tips, tricks and design inspiration so you can achieve a look you'll love in your home. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace an interior pre-hung door. I'm here at my local home improvement store to look at interior doors. Now, there's tons of options, but I've gone ahead and pulled the two most popular ones. The first one being this classic two-panel door. It's got a solid core to it, so it provides excellent soundproofing. It's ideal for almost every room in your house. Now, if you're looking for something with a little bit more pizzazz, you might want to consider a glass paneled door. Now, the panels come in a variety of styles and translucency. For instance, this one, you can kind of see through it. It lets the light in, but you can't exactly tell what's going on in the other room. This is perfect for a pantry or a home office or maybe a master bathroom. It's exactly what I'm looking for for my house, so it's coming home with me. Today I'm going to meet with Jeff Hobson. He's a contractor that I've worked with on other projects. He's going to show me how to install an interior pre-hung door. Hi Jeff, how are you today? Good, how are yourself? I'm good, thank you so much for coming by today. And you're gonna show me how to remove this door and replace it with a new interior pre-hung door. A pre-hung door is a door that's already mounted within the jam. The key benefits of installing a pre-hung door is the time savings alone. The door is already hung within the jam and you simply just have to install it in the opening. So what are the first steps to doing this? Okay, first step we need to do is actually bring the door within the room. We okay. need to climatize it. After purchasing your new door, the next step is to bring it home and climatize it in your home overnight. This allows the moisture content in the door to match what you have within your home. This will avoid any swelling, warping, checking, or cracking that you may have if you install it too quickly. So what are some of the tools we might need then today? Key tools you may need for installing a pre-hung door would be, for one, your safety equipment, eye protection, ear protection, a putty knife, a okay. chisel, hammer, a reciprocating saw, a drill, screws, a knife, a level, wood filler, caulking, and some sandpaper to final it off. prepped, what's the next step to installing the new door? Okay, we're going to have to remove the casing. To properly remove the casing from the door, first you want to start with a knife and actually cut up and around the perimeter of all your casings inside and outside the door. Here we're going to want to just put it in and simply just pull it slowly and carefully along that line. This is cutting and breaking the seal on the caulking from the wall to the door casing itself. So this way when you go to pry it off, it's not ripping your drywall paper. Now that we've actually scored the caulking around mm -hmm. the door casing, next we're going to try to remove the casing carefully. You're going to take a putty knife or a flat pry bar and slowly work your way up the casing casing up and around on both sides, carefully removing it so you're not to break it and that way you can possibly reuse it. At that point you take it off, put it safely aside and you're ready to take the door out of the frame. From here we want to take the actual door mechanism hardware out and apart and remove it off the door slab. Any door hardware, there's mm -hmm. two screws generally that hold it together. Now okay. that's actually sandwiching it on the door slab. So mm -hmm. on the other side here, you'll notice there's that lock and generally the screws are on the inside of the room. Okay. Grab a screwdriver, place it in there, and just start undoing. They're quite long, so it might take a while. Okay. So I'll give you that one. Now we're gonna open the door, because when I undo the screw, it might wanna fall apart. Okay. As you can see, it's getting loose. So this will simply pull out, crack the paint seal. Okay. And then this piece just tucked into the door. You might have to take a pry bar, slowly push on that. Okay. And that just comes out. From there, we wanna take the door slab itself, pop it off the hinges, and actually get it out of the way. We're just gonna put it up under that lip there, and just slowly hammer. And once you get it most way there, you can just simply pull it out and work your way down. From here, the slab then can be pulled out from the jam and rested up against the wall for future installation or demolition. Here we actually have to find what's securing the jam to the framing itself. I'd recommend getting a pry bar and slowly prying the jam away from the frame and seeing if you can get it behind and find out what's securing it. If it's nails, we need to simply shear those off. You can use a dull chisel and a hammer or a pry bar of some sort to break that nail. Simply just hammer and there it goes. If it's a screw in there, I recommend taking a reciprocating saw and slowly cutting up and around until the jam's clear and free. Now that we've removed all the nails from around the perimeter here, mm -hmm. we can go ahead and remove the door jam completely out of the opening. Okay. That way we're going to have a prepped opening ready for the install of our pre-hung door. At that point, we can simply slowly remove the jam from the opening itself. Here you may want a friend to help you with it if it's a heavy jam or being difficult coming out. 
This way you avoid any damage on walls or on yourself or the jam falling on you. Get a good grip. All right. I'm just gonna lift and just, it's not too heavy. No, it's not too bad, it's manageable. And then we're gonna just bring it over close to the opening and gently lay it down onto the ground. Okay. Next, we're gonna just carefully slide it in. Once it's in there, we just wanna center it in the opening. It's important to center your door in the opening for a couple purposes. One, we wanna make sure you actually have room on either side to shim it and center it on that piece. Other key point is that your casings are gonna line up equally on each side. If you had your casings and then you had outside walls where you're putting this between, you wanna make sure your reveals are all gonna match. So it's really crucial at that beginning part to get it centered in the opening. Shims are a wooden wedge we use for blocking in behind our door. Now the shims themselves are actually an adjustable mechanism we can use mm -hmm. as a backing. Okay. So they're actually cut on a taper. So when you put them on both sides of the hinge, when you slide it in, it actually gets fatter in the middle. Oh, I see that, okay. So if you have a bigger gap you need to shim out, you mm -hmm. just simply slide them together more if you okay. need to adjust it out. So it's a nice way to make the adjustment to the jam and get it level mm -hmm. where you need it. It's important when using shims to start on your hinge side. This is the main point where your door is hanging off the jam. It's essential to have it straight. And on the top hinge, you're gonna place it behind the jam there. Matching it up where yours yeah. is? Yeah, so we're gonna put the door where it needs to go. And there you can feel them. And you're just yep. gonna keep pushing. Give it a good firm push where you need it to go. And by then it's actually gonna wanna lock the door in place a bit. The correct way to install the shims is to place them in behind each hinge. This is crucial to making sure we have great support with our shimming. So okay. at this point, we just wanna lightly put a screw in. Once you get it started there, mm -hmm. you wanna make sure it's flush with the drywall on both sides. So you're just kind of feeling it? Yeah. Okay. And this way I can feel around both sides and okay. it's sitting good and flush. Mm -hmm. We're actually gonna drive the screw, not all the way through, but we're gonna actually get into the backing. A good tip for somebody new to installing doors is not to completely secure your fasteners. This way allows you to make some final shimming and adjustments once you've set your door in, you've checked your slab for reveals. Now what we need to do is actually check this for plumb. Okay. The plumb is your vertical level basically. Right. At this point, we're gonna take your level and see what you need to increase or decrease to get the door right. There's a small bubble in the level here. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is make sure that bubble's centered between those lines. Okay. See, we're actually looking really good already. Yeah, we are, absolutely. Yeah. So at that point, we're just gonna check it down below as well. So when your jam is level, we can go ahead and fasten it off. Once you have your shim securely in place, you can work yourself to the header next. For the next step that we have the hinge side done, we need to worry about the header. It's the upper portion of the door. We wanna check the reveal on the door. We're looking for this reveal up here, this gap. Mm -hmm. You wanna to try to keep it as even as possible. Mm -hmm. So that means right now, since we're plumb on this door, this is actually sitting perfectly what we need. There's okay. no shimming necessary up or down. Okay. Sometimes you'd have to make an adjustment under that leg with All a shim right. to bring it up, open that reveal. Okay. Here we're fine. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and set that open it up and now all we have to do is do our shimming and screwing down this side. Once you have your header lined up, work your way down to the strike side which is your final right side of the door. When you have it where you need it with the shimming, we can go ahead and fasten it off with a nail or a screw. Now what do we do with all these pieces of wood sticking out around the door? Now that the door is screwed in place, we can cut away the shims. Here if they're a cedar or hardwood shim, you can take a sharp knife, cut on the front and the back side of it and simply just break them off. If it's a thicker shim and you need extra, grab your hammer and just give it a smack. Now we removed all the old nails from the casing. All right. We're gonna apply them on, put them up in place, and nail them off. And then when we have all the casings on both sides, mm -hmm. we can go ahead and fill and sand out any of the putty holes all right. that we have to make. Caulk in the edges that you have around the casing where they meet the door. Okay. Also, we're gonna apply the hardware back on the door, which okay. we took off the other door there. Okay. And that's it. So we're just gonna pop the casing back in here behind the hinges. All right. You just wanna ensure that it's actually fitting properly like you took it off. Okay because it is a different door. You wanna ensure that the gaps are still the same. We're gonna use a nail gun to actually fasten this back on. You don't want screws, it makes too big of a hole. Okay. Nail gun's sufficient for holding this in place. You wanna fire your nail where it shoots the casing through the actual door jam. And repeat the step and work your way down. Okay, man, so at this point, we're gonna nail off this casing on this side. Again, take your nail gun, depress it, trying to shoot the casing into the meat of the door jam. Mm -hmm. And then again on this side, come in around here, we're gonna evenly navel it as well. Now there's usually two by four studs in behind, so when okay. you shoot this, it's actually gonna bite into it. You can see one here. All right. It's gonna be the same over here as well. And just slowly work your way down, in every foot and foot and a half, trying to shoot it into the door jam, and again into the wall. With the both legs of the casing in there, we can take our architrave from before, 
place it up on top mm -hmm. and then fasten that and, and then one side of the door is finally done. And from here we can actually work on the other side of putting the casings on. At that point we want to actually fill any nail holes we have or screw holes and prep the frame ready for paint. Wow Jeff, so we're completely done now. This is looking fantastic. We just have to wait for the wood filler to dry, then we can sand it painted up but I'm so happy with how this looks we've successfully removed the old door and installed this beautiful glass pre-hung door thank yeah, you no problem all those steps we took you followed it thoroughly and you caught on quick made a simple project out of it although I was intimidated to install a pre-hung door the job turned out to be much simpler than I thought proper installation of a door is essential to ensure that the long term of this door operation is going to work improperly installed doors over time will settle and shift to the point your door won't actually close and latch properly by using the right tools, the steps, and products to actually install it right the first time, it'll stay there for a lifetime.